guys, Kevin again, and I just wanted to make this video because I know it's a very bad time for a lot of you, but um, we all just pretty much have to face it. Cory Monty is dead. If you guys didn't already know, he recently just passed away. And it happened in a hotel room in Vancouver, and um, some people are saying drug use, and the first thing I'm going to say is that don't make stuff up when it hasn't already been confirmed. There's going to be an autopsy tomorrow, so we don't know what's going to, what actually caused it until tomorrow. But I just wanted to make this video because, one, you know, Glee's one of my favorite shows. I love reviewing it. I love watching it week to week. And definitely, Corey made a lot of the show. And one of the ways he made a lot of that show was the chemistry he had with all the characters. I mean, he had a scene with every single one of the characters in the show. And he had chemistry with every single one of those characters, especially Lee and Michelle. Um, and he was just such an amazing actor. Um, I'm going to go back to, like, 2009 when I first saw him on TV. And he was seeing Don't Stop Believing. I'm like, this guy's going to go far. And he really did. He was incredible. Last season, though, they were not safe to his character. I do remember seasons two and three, though, when Tin and Rachel were the only parts of the show I really cared about. Um, I didn't really like Santana yet, didn't really like Kurt yet, but then seasons two and three, that's when I start to like more of the characters. Seasons one and two, though, I didn't care about anything except for Rachel and Finn, um, so, yeah. And they really did make a big part, you guys know, Finchel's my OTP, I mean, and now I'm just very upset that it's going to happen because they're going to kill off Finn Hudson, probably, and... If they kill off Finn, though, maybe they can bring Jesse back. Um, you know, maybe Jonathan Groff can come back and spend the, and have scenes with Rachel, you know, because they were great together in season one whenever they had scenes together. They're the next best thing. I mean, so, and I feel so bad for Leah right now. Now, Leah, I know that you are hurting right now. And I just really hope that this doesn't make Leah, like, kill herself or something. Because she's devastated right now, and she's just extremely upset. And the saddest part here is that the two of them were supposed to get married in two weeks. Now, she's going to be playing for a funeral. He's going to be dead. And that's just it. That's just what exactly happened. And it's just really, really sad. I remember when I, when I first found out I just I was so upset I didn't I don't really cry over these things but definitely this was one of the hardest things ever you know I've heard of a lot of celebrity deaths but when you watch a show for five years and you haven't left at all and um you know you watch that show this whole time and you watch an actor on a show and you think he's such a great actor and he's made such a big part of the show I have a crush I was crushed. I've never made a video of, you know, celebrating death. I was going to do one for Winnie Houston, but I didn't really know her that well, so I couldn't. But this one, I really did know. Corey Monty, you know, I loved all his themes, loved his voice. He had such a great voice. His songs were amazing. He, it just got better and better. And here's the worst part. The last scene that Finn and Rachel had together was through a telephone in episode 19, Sweet Dreams. One of the worst episodes of the season. Um, and it was because the way it was done. And I, I, at the time, I thought it was a good episode. But now I think it's a bad episode because it just didn't give Finn any closure. And they're not going to give him any closure now because he said the only way to do that is to kill him off. And the sad thing is, Finn and Rachel were supposed to have a lot of scenes together this season. They were supposed to be getting back together this season. This is going to be the season where they stay together, there'll be no more of them, you know, just, there, there'd be no more of them, um, you know, on and off, it'd be just on, basically, and they'd stay together. Now, though, Rachel's gonna get a new boyfriend, she's gonna be crushed over Finn, um, meanwhile, Lee Michelle is still okay, and I just really hope Lee and Michelle you know, I really hope Leah Michelle's okay about this. Everyone needs to pray for her. And it's such a sad day today. It's not just Corey Monty. I mean, Kyle Massey has uh, cancer. Um, the Zimmerman trial, you know, uh, Zimmerman was found not guilty. Uh, Max the dog was shot. 
Ariana Grande apparently has some type of, um, has some type of, um, lung disease. It's just a crazy day. What is going on? It just made the day so sad. I, I know Sunday's supposed to be like a religious holiday, a religious day, but this is not what I, this is not what I needed today. It just really upsets me. I mean, I've had a really hard, um, last couple of days. First, my computer wasn't working. I had to take it back to Best Buy. And now my modem's not working. There's a power guy here right now trying to fix the modem. And then this happened. So, I don't really know. I mean, I'm just glad that I really hope they give Glee a nice funeral episode for Finn. That's going to be such a hard episode to watch, but... Cory Monteith, you'll never be forgotten. Um, just rest in peace. We all will always remember you. You've been such a big part of Glee, and your your just your presence on Glee will never die. It's not going to be the same without you. Um, we're gonna miss you, and you should have just he should have just left Glee last year because they were not nice to him at all last year. Um. He stayed new, you know, he was supposed to come back and they hadn't even started shooting it and that's was so sad. So, just wanted to make this video and, um, Leah Michelle, I hope that, um, you will be okay. Let's pray for Leah Michelle and, uh, rest in peace, corn on peace. And, um, don't stop believing. Bye.